This is like that thing where they say, hey man, maybe we will get to go to a game or two once in a while. Yeah, maybe you say. Raiders fans, this is Jedi Joy here. We have some new updates here to the Raiders Stadium, some real nice views from all different angles of the stadium. So check out the whole video, you'll just love all the new footage. So here is, if you were on the strip looking towards the stadium on the outside, look at all of the stuff that is done. Um, they really, you can see the whole foundation coming in. Look at all this steel. They actually have to store a lot of this steel off-site because there's just so much steel for this project. They have two different locations to store steel because they just can't fit it all on the site. It's just insane the amount of steel and concrete for this project. They say that the amount of concrete could make a sidewalk that would stretch across the whole country. The amount of concrete used for this one project. It's crazy. They even brought their own concrete mixing to the site. So this is going around on the east side towards the stadium. It's really exciting that the Raiders are coming here. As Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders said when in 2016 when they were first talking about this he said let's make this together we can turn the silver state into a silver and black state we're just really excited because we've never had an NFL team here in Las Vegas there wasn't even a place large enough to house an NFL game we all we had was the UNLV Sam Boyd Stadium which cannot uh, be used for NFL it doesn't meet NFL regulations which is why the stadium needs to get done by August 2020 and time for the games to start September 2020. Now originally they were hoping to get it done by May 2020 but with some of the crazy weather we've had it got a little delayed but it's on course for August 2020. This will also be a home of the UNLV Running Rebels. They will have two different types of flooring. One will be turf for UNLV and grass for the Raiders. They're right now in the process of just testing out all different kinds of turf for the stadium. They want to make sure they have the best because this is just the newest, most cutting edge stuff we're using for the stadium. These cranes are the biggest cranes we've ever had in Nevada. They're monstrous. You, don't, you can't even tell how big they are from the videos. You just have to see them in person. They're so large. These cranes are capable of moving huge parts. They'll be moving these pieces that are 130,000 pounds each. They'll also lift the roof of the stadium once it's complete. They'll assemble the roof inside the stadium and then these cranes are going to lift them up, lift it up. I don't even know how much that weighs, but it's a lot. Now if you look, even the crane operator sits about 15 feet off the ground. 
That's how massive these cranes are. That's going to have basically like windows, uh, shutters that will uh, move over so that sometimes it'll be open, sometimes it could be closed, but there'll be a way to have an open field for the stadium. It's very cool. Open window. This is a loading dock. You can really just start to see the things coming together. Before it was like, what is that? But now you can say, okay, I can see. That's going to be that, and this is going to be that. The roof for this stadium is going to be made of really special new material that will keep out the heat but will allow the sun to come in for light but not heat, which is very important in Las Vegas because it's so hot here. It's a really great project. Guys are working from all over the country on this project. Mortensen and McCarthy are the best stadium construction team in the country. The Raiders waited to make sure they got Mortensen and McCarthy because they were so impressed with the stadium they built in Minneapolis, the U.S. Bank Stadium. So we wanted the best here in Las Vegas. So these steel parts that are on the ground are about 130 tons apiece, and those cranes are going to be lifting them pretty soon. So that'll be interesting to see. Stay tuned for that. As you can see, just all the equipment on the site. It's just a huge site, very clean. Morton and McCarthy do such a nice job, and they just are really all about safety. They have zero uh, work mishaps right now, knock on wood, and Zero people getting hurt, so it's really great. They're all about safety. This is all on the east side. As you can see, the strip right there. So this is what you'll see from the strip when you're staying. important that the steel guys and the con concrete guys stay in sync. That's what causes some delay if one gets ahead of the other. Because it just has to be in perfect unison to get this stadium done in time. And they're doing a great job. Once again, it's all on the east side of the stadium. It's really exciting. If you've never been out here, I recommend checking it out before it's all done. Because pretty soon they're going to have the outside structure on and you won't be able to see the construction going on. This site is a little over 62 acres. 
they had to dig into the ground because the site sits pretty close to where the airport is, so the flights go over, so they had to make sure it wasn't in the fly zone. There was a proposal for a lot of different sites, and it took a little while for them to decide this one. This one is great. It's on Russell. It's in between Russell Road and Hacienda Avenue, if you're aware of Las Vegas at all. It sits right behind Mandalay Bay and the Luxor. There's going to be a lot of events here at the stadium once it's done, so it's really going to be nice for Las Vegas because we've never had anything of this caliber stadium. It's interesting in Las Vegas, one of the things that really slows down the construction is if it gets too windy because those cranes just can't operate if it's too windy they don't want to be moving around huge steel parts when it's over like you know 20 mile an hour winds it gets kind of crazy here in Las Vegas see they had to dig a huge hole to make this stadium. As you're gonna see, it goes deep into the ground. So we were just on the front side. Now we're going to go underground. They had to build this wall here and road with concrete. This is from the back side of the stadium, so the south side of the stadium. This is, if you were coming from LA, this is the side you're going to see first. From Russell Road. As you can see how deep down that hill is. Parking is still going to be a little bit of a hassle here because due to the airport they couldn't build a parking structure too tall. So they're still trying to figure out where they're going to carry people from. They have a couple of places in mind already but the parking lot here is going to be a little small. So this is the road that they created, Mortensen McCarthy, to do the construction here. See, as you see, you go down into the stadium. We're going from the back side of the stadium, the south side. quite amazing all of the work they've done over the last couple years. As you can see those kind of brown looking steel structures is going to be the second level. That they're working on. There's a couple of decks on this project that'll be uh, sticking out. They want to put grass around the stadium a bit too, make some nice areas for people to hang out, take photos and things. They'll even have a statue of Al Davis in the front of the stadium. And they named one of the roads already Al Davis Way. So look at all this steel. So much steel on this project. This is in the inside of the stadium right now down in the ditch, <laughs> to say. 
they'll have to, uh, after they're done with this, they'll then start on the ceiling and they'll, they'll build that in this uh, area right here and then they'll lift it up with the cranes for that roof. That amazing new roof they're coming out with, with its uh, cutting edge for this stadium. Here's the bleachers. You can start to see them coming in. Uh, maybe if you're a season ticket holder, you can see where you're sitting right now. It's pretty exciting. You get to see a first look inside the stadium. So ticket holders, take a look where your seats are. You can see the three levels right there. Pretty amazing. I can already feel the energy of the crowd that's going to be here in just a little over a year. I think the Raiders are getting really excited. Quite a few Raiders have already visited the location and some Raiderettes. Everyone's getting excited to move to Las Vegas. And they're saying they're going to have the Super Bowl 2025 here. So that's really exciting. How fun is it going to be to get to go to a Super Bowl in Las Vegas? You can literally bet and then walk right into the game. I know that's what they didn't want originally. But now that there's sports betting anywhere, I think it doesn't matter. So it just will be a fun, fun addition. That was their fear when they were thinking of bringing a team to NFL. They didn't want it to be an issue with people being paid off um, and cheating. So they were a little nervous since this state is legal gambling. But now that you can do online sports betting, they said, all right, Vegas, you can have a team. So we're really excited about that. They were a little worried with this site that it was going to see here's the bleachers. Check where your seats are at. But yeah, they were a little bit nervous about this site. They thought there was going to be a big issue with water. But they kept digging, kept digging. Didn't have it too much of an issue. And then they had a little bit, but they resolved that. But they were thinking the site had a lot more water than it did. So luckily, it all worked out. That was a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning. So there'll be a couple different types of fields for this. There'll be a grass one, a hard one, and turf. And they're checking out all different types of turf right now. That's one of the big projects, figuring out which turf they want. And they're going to be growing the grass and turf. Here you go, inside the NFL Raiders Las Vegas Stadium. There'll be a lot of uh, different restaurants and bars within um, the stadium. So those will be starting to be built after they complete this outside of the stadium. Then for the last several months, it'll be all focused on the inside. Things like the restaurants and bars and anything that's not this type of construction base, more design and interior work. They have some of the best designers in the world on this stadium project. So this is the west side, if you're on the inside. The west side will be the home team. 
and the east side will be the away team. So the away team will sit closer to the strip. But the west side will be able to see the strip with that open window. So here's the east side, the away team bleachers. They'll have their backs to the strip. As you can see, Delano and Mandalay are right behind the strip. So there's the away team. So if you're not a Raiders fan and you're another team fan, that might be where you're sitting for a game. There you go. That's the east side, the away team. It's going to be one of the tunnels where the players come out. here inside the stadium first look it's pretty exciting so this is the east side the away team injuries, zero work caps, Mortensen and McCarthy are all about safety. If you go out there, you see the guys are always being safe. Like you can tell they just move at a pace to always be safe, not, not rushing around, not being jerky, you know, just moving slowly, being safe, but doing a fantastic job. Especially the guys that are high up. You always see them with their safety. Uh, lanyards and they safety straps and they you know unhook one hook it to another piece so they're always hooked to something when they're working up high they take it very seriously safety is their number one priority so this is as if we were on the west side the home team and we were walking on the bottom level Basically, if we were walking on the grass, on the field, wouldn't that be great? Bleachers. A lot of different views of the stadium. It's really awesome to see from these angles. Now 
This will be home to the Super Bowl, the Pro Bowl, the NFL Draft, the NCAA Final Tour, the USA Sevens Rugby Tournament, the Monster Jam World Finals, boxing matches, Ultimate Fighting Championships, Pac-12 Football Championship game, some college football games, international soccer matches, concerts, and corporate shows. This is really going to be awesome for Las Vegas. We're super excited to have the Raiders come here. They're just the perfect team for Las Vegas. And I love that they're black and silver for the Silver State, as Mark Davis said. The actual address of the stadium is going to be 3333 Al Davis Way. It's a real easy address to remember. It's going to be 65,000 seats, expandable to 72,000 for football. And for soccer, it'll be 61,000 seats. It'll be grass for the Raiders and a field turf for the UNLV running Rebels. The construction cost and the whole stadium cost is $1.9 billion. <laughs> 